Hey, welcome to another episode of Tasting Trasa with Roberto. So today we're going to do a summer halloumi salad. And the reason being, if you uh, follow us and you remember episode number 10, that we did a Trasa nachos version uh, using halloumi. So we got a lot of feedback. People are loving it. They're asking us what else they can do with it. So we're going to show you what to do today. So a uh, little different ingredients. Let me show you what we're going to use. So we're going to use uh, traza tzatziki. We also have the garlic tahini sauce. We have one cup of Italian parsley. We have half a cup of fresh dill. We have two apples. Uh, these are the, the green apples, the granny, I believe it's called. Uh, but you can use any other one that is not too sweet. Uh, we also have a, a lemon. We have a red onion. We have a sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper, combined already. We have a little bit of a crouton, and these are the mini croutons with spices, really good. And last but not least, halloumi. By the way, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, I know you can find the halloumi. If you go to Fred Meyers and they have a Murray's uh, cheese department, they have it there. Uh, also, Trader Joe's has it. So, so I, you find it in a, in a few places. Uh, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna slide the apples and I'm gonna put it here in this container. All right. So you just slice it thin. Oop, flying all over. <clears throat> all right. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna need a quarter of the lemon and we're gonna throw it there with the uh, apples. And this prevent the apples to get brown, so. All right, so we're gonna put this aside. And the next thing we're going to do, we are going to slide the halloumi. We're gonna fry it right now. So let's slice it. This is a seven or eight ounce, that's how they come. This is the only size available, by the way. So you're gonna slice it somehow thick. Maybe a, like a half an inch. Uh, maybe a little bit less than half an inch, but. So you get seven to eight slices. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so it's sliced. We're gonna move to the stove. So follow me and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so as you can see, we have an median. So I'm gonna lower it to medium and low. It's already warm. And we're gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil, just a touch, just to make sure it doesn't stick. More than enough. All right, so we're gonna lay the halloumi. There's the sound that you're looking for. And you just let it cook until it gets brown on the bottom. The nice thing about the, the halloumi, it have a little saltiness to it, but as you can see, it's a great frying cheese. Uh, and if you have the opportunity to fry, do so, because it's a game changer, like I told you last time. So we're gonna leave it for about three minutes. All right, so we start turning them. There's one turn already. As you can see, they start getting a little bit brown. That's what you're looking for. And if you have a non-stick pan, that will work too. So. All 
All right, so as you can see, uh, they're brown on both sides already. So we just turn it off. And there's not much oil in there. So I had a plate that has some uh, paper towel just to drain any excess of oil, but we're not gonna have an issue here. So we're just gonna move it there. So let's go prepare the salad. All right. So as you can see, the halloum has been fried. So we're gonna move and uh, prepare the salad. All right. Halloum is ready. Okay, so we do have already, uh, remember, the apple, we slice them and put a quarter of a lime on. Uh, the lime, uh, uh, no, lemon juice. All right. So now we have the red onion. We're gonna slice about, just about a quarter of them, very thin. That's about it. Separate it in, and we're gonna add it to the apple. All right. Move this here so you can see. So now, we're gonna add the cup of the Italian parsley. Half a cup of uh, dill. It's chopped very fine. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Can you see it? All right. Now the halloumi. So we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do three of those slices here. And we're just gonna chop it roughly here. All right. Again, this is, just an easy to prepare salad, very refreshing. So we're gonna serve individually here. <clears throat> gonna use some of the tongue here. All right, you wanna move it here? So now, we are going to drizzle some of the garlic tahini sauce and the tzatziki. And you can put as much as little as you want. So this is the tzatziki. and the garlic tahini sauce. All right. And last but not least, I have some of the breadcrumbs here. Just gonna drop some there in the middle. And that's it. So this recipe serves about three uh, good portion. And if you have, so if you have any protein that you would like to add, uh, tuna comes to mind, really good. Uh, but if you have some chicken, rotisserie chicken, you can go ahead and do it too. Uh, it tastes delicious. So, so there you have it. Thanks again for joining us for another episode. I just want to let you know summer is around the corner. 
and we have some wonderful recipes lined up for you. One of them, we're gonna do our own version of the chicken Sonoma salad. You can have hummus, we're gonna use hummus instead of the mayo and do some other tweak it around. Now, charcuterie, who doesn't like charcuterie? So we're gonna have the same idea and we're gonna do one with Mediterranean goods made by Traza. It's gonna be incredible, it's gonna look fabulous, you're gonna be the hit if you take it. So again, thanks for tasting, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Meanwhile, stay safe.